Hi hey y'all, the time for another cook. Uh, this time I'm gonna make uh, beef short ribs, uh, Irish beef short ribs. Uh, what I will use for seasoning is uh, SPG, salt, pepper, garlic from Sacklebusters. And I'm gonna be using uh, oak wood to smoke it with and uh, let's see how it will uh, go. Okay, let's try to unpack it. Let's glove up, excuse me. Let's get this out of the way, be right back. As you can see, those are the beef ribs. A little bit of fat on the, the this side. I will trim that off. They seem to be not containing that much meat. I kind of regret I bought those or did not pay attention to it. Anyways, uh, it's not much meat on this side and on this side it's not too bad. But I will cut off the fat cap. On this side there's a membrane. Uh, you better leave that on. Uh, the reason for that is if you take it off and it's gonna cook, the beef is gonna pull together. And it's gonna come loose of the bone, and with leaving this skin on on this side, it prevents uh, that the, the bone and the meat will separate. Now, let's try to see if I can uh, get rid of a little bit of that fat. I'm not going to cut too deep because then I'll lose the flesh, the meat, and it is already not that much of it. Best thing to do is when you are cutting is tilting your knife in a slight angle upwards. That gives you better control and prevents you to cut it to the meat. As you can see it really peels back quite easily. Especially if it's still cold. And like I said, uh, you better trim off a little bit of that fat. Reason is uh, the rub won't penetrate. Um, it won't ramp down completely, so you will have like quite a chewy thing. And what I'm taking off here is some silver skin. Uh, told you in the other videos about it as well, uh, silver skin is just a tough skin and you don't want to be eating that either. Just put your blade under there and cut. Same with this. Angle upwards and cut. So you have the least amount of meat coming with it. Again there, slowly but surely. Also mind I'm not a professional, not at all. I'm not doing competitions, I'm not a butcher, nothing. Uh, just your average guy that's just loving to barbecue. And every time for me it's an adventure uh, and I'm still learning a lot. What I learned I'm trying to share with you. And what I love is just the patience 
of cooking and tending of the fire, uh, spritzing stuff and just looking the, uh, how it progresses. And then the, of course the final result, the eating. I don't think I will take much more out of this. There's hardly anything left on this side. This side's not too bad. Pinch through here and to grab this little bit. Yeah, for the rest, there's nothing much to say about those beef uh, ribs. Uh, besides that, uh, I'm gonna cook them till the temperature of around uh, 92 degrees Celsius before I take them off. But before I take them off, I'm gonna check around that temperature if they're gonna be probe tender. Uh, so that means if I'm gonna stick my thermometer probe in there, if it uh, feels soft like butter, they're done. After that, I will uh, keep them wrapped up uh, a little bit. Maybe I will wrap them around uh, 85 to 87 degrees Celsius. Uh, so if there is any bark and it gets too crispy, uh, it will soften up slightly. Uh, the juice will get back into the meat, so yeah, around 85 I will wrap them. Uh, preferably with butcher paper, because it uh, will prevent that it gets too soft. But for the rest, uh, aluminium foil can do the trick too. Uh, yeah, let's see how that goes, and after that they have cooked. Uh, you wait about an hour uh, before that you can serve them. and. Uh, that gives the chance for all the juices that have been pulled out to go back into the muscles and that will give a very more tasty result. But I guess I will leave it like this. Like I said, there's not a whole lot of meat on this side and this side it's it's okay, but it's it's not the best that I've had and uh, kind of regret that I bought them, but uh, still meat is meat and it will still taste good, so I will for sure eat them. And, uh, Let's take you to the process of seasoning up. Let me clean up this mess here and uh, get your guys right back. All right, for the seasoning, SPG, salt, pepper, garlic, just a very simple rub. They're using this a lot in Texas. First time I'm gonna use it like this. Curious about how it will be. Don't forget the sides. You want some nice crustacean uh, to form there. Or bark, or whatever you want to call it. You don't need to do the back side, it's just uh, skin, uh, or it's just a big, big fleece. Don't penetrate to there. Just uh, make sure the meat just shines through a little bit. Let it go for like 15 to 30 minutes. Meantime, my grill is heating up and uh, Let's uh, take it from there. Okay, it's time to put in the wood. Like I said, it's going to be oak. Okay. Put my diffuser plate. Drip pan. I'm gonna fill it up with some water later on. To keep the humidity uh, in the grill. Only thing left to do is put on my grill thermometer. See if it works again because last time I had an update and uh, it thought it went uh, above the temperature range, which was totally not the case. Now they put another update, so I hope they fixed it. And uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, one more thing. Uh, you see the smoke coming out. It's uh, very, very smoky and it's still uh, too cold to render well. Uh, the smoke like this might give bitterness and uh, toxic fumes. Uh, just let it go and get let the grill get up to temperature so you have more uh, bluish uh, transparent smoke. Uh, 
plus that also will penetrate the meat better and everything and that's it well as you can see the smoke uh, is less yellow uh, temperature is up to uh, 125 celsius now so that's the time to put it in uh, let it burp a little bit because else you might have a backdraft and something might go wrong at least that's what they're uh, saying uh, when using uh, green eggs and tomatoes and stuff like that uh, and, uh, not sure if that is with this uh, grill the same, but I'm just lifting the grate a little bit to get some oxygen in there and it will at least prevent a backdraft like I said. Okay, I put my meat in um, that has to go for about four to six hours. After like three hours I will check how it is and uh, yeah, I'm aiming like I said for that uh, yeah, 87 degrees before I will wrap it into uh, butcher paper and let it go up to 92 till it's probe tender but I might also not wrap it I don't know yet what I will do and I might spritz it I might not spritz it I will just see how it goes uh, for sure I will go inside now and uh, get some water to put in the drip pan to keep the moisture uh, level up in the, the grill and uh, let's see uh, after like an hour or two what the results will be and uh, see you guys later Okay, this is about uh, three hours in. You can see that the uh, meat is starting to retract from the bone a little bit. Uh, it still has a few hours to go. The crust is starting to form nicely. It's starting to crispen up. Uh, we'll let it go for like another hour, maybe two hours, and then maybe uh, see then if I need to spritz it or wrap it. Okay, I got my beef ribs in for like uh, three hours, three and a half hours. Uh, still have a few hours to go. It's now at uh, 78 degrees Celsius and has to go up to uh, 87. So 10 degrees more and then I can wrap them and then it has to go up to uh, 93. In the meantime I'm going to take a beer, it's going to be uh, the Wild Mill, uh, Blanc beer, approved barbecue beer. It's a very good beer indeed for the barbecue so I am said cheers. And uh, enjoy your day and enjoy your cook. The result after four and a half hours, uh, I will get you guys some closer. You see it start to pull back a little bit from the bone. The color is very very nice but uh, it gets a little bit dry here. So what I will do is I will spritz it and this time I'm gonna use a, a beer. Just a pilsner, nothing more, nothing less. Just adding some flavor and moisture. And let's see what I will do with the result. Beer braised short ribs. Right. Ninety three inside. Probe tender. It goes in like butter. I'll take it out, put it in a tray. Let's see if I can get the thermometer out as you see it's pulled back of the beef completely this is the rear side I put it in here and now we get a towel the reason for this is so the heat can stay in a little bit, but with this towel it can still breathe, so it won't get like uh, very mushy inside. And I will leave this to stay like, uh, yeah, what shall I say, about 45 minutes, an hour. Um, I don't need a cooling box because outside is still uh, 26 or 27 degrees Celsius, so it's uh, very, very uh, warm. And I will show you the results later on. Right. And cool it down a little bit, still feels warm. Let's see how the wrist turned out. This is how it looks. I'll make a little photo and I'll show you guys. Cut it into small 
slices and try it. Mm. Excellent.